I will document all your words, dear Mr. Tesla. The first requirement is a high awareness of its mission and work to be done. It must, if only dimly, exist in the early days. Let us not be falsely modest. Oak knows that it is oak tree, a bush beside him, being a bush. When I was 12, I have been sure I will get to Niagara Falls. For most of my discoveries, I knew in my childhood that I will achieve them, although not entirely apparent. The second condition to adapt is determination. All that I might, I finished. Condition to adapt is determination. All that I might, I finished. What is the third condition of adjustment, Mr. Tesla? Guidance for all the vital and spiritual energies in labor. Therefore, purification of the many effects and needs that man has. I therefore have not lost anything, but just gained. So I enjoyed every day and night. Write down, Nikola Tesla was a happy man. The fourth requirement is to adjust the physical assembly with the work. What do you mean, Mr. Tesla? First, the maintenance of the assembly. Man's body is a perfect machine. I know my circuit and what's good for him. Food, what nearly all people eat, to me it is harmful and dangerous. Sometimes, I visualize that chefs in the world are all in conspiracy against me. Touch my hand. It is cold. Yes. Bloodstream can be controlled, and many processes, in and around us. Why are you frightened, young man? It's a storm. That Mark Twain wrote a mysterious stranger, that wonderful book of safety, inspired by you. The word Lucifer is more charming. Mr. Twain likes to joke. As a child, I was healed once by reading his books. When we met here, and told him about, he was so touched, that he cried. We became friends, and he often came to my lab. Once he requested, to show him a machine, that by vibration, provokes a feeling of bliss. It was one of those inventions for entertainment, what I sometimes like to do. I warned Mr. Dwayne, as not to remain under these vibrations. He did not listen, and stayed longer. It ended by being, like a rocket, holding pants, darted into a certain room. It was diabolically funny, but I kept the seriousness. But, to adjust the physical circuit, in addition to food, dream is very important. From a long and exhausting work, which required superhuman effort, after one hour of sleep, I'd be fully recovered. I gave the ability to manage sleep, to fall asleep, and wake up in the time which I have designated. If I do something, what I do not understand, I force myself to think about it in my dream, and thus find a solution. The fifth condition of adjustment is memory. Perhaps in the most people, the brain is keeper of knowledge about the world and the knowledge gained through the life. My brain is engaged in more important things than remembering. It is picking what is required at a given moment. This is all around us. It should only be consumed. Everything that we once saw, hear, read and learn accompanies us in the form of light particles. To me, these particles are obedient and faithful. Goethe's Faust, my favorite book, I learned by heart in German as a student, and now it can all recite. I held my inventions for years in my head, and only then I realized them. You often mentioned the power of visualization. I might have to thank to visualization for all that I invented. The events of my life and my inventions are real in front of my eyes, visible as each occurrence or the item. In my youth, I was frightened of not knowing what it is, but later, I learned to use this power as an exceptional talent and gift. I nurtured it and jealously guarded. I also made corrections by visualization on most of my inventions and finished them that way. By visualization, I mentally solved complex mathematical equations 
on the fifth Dakar. I will receive rank high lama in Tibet, sight and hearing are perfect, and fair to say, stronger than other people. I hear the thunder of 150 miles away, and I see colors in the sky that others cannot see. This enlargement of vision and hearing I had as a child. Later, I consciously developed. Indeed, you have several times been seriously ill. Is it a disease and a requirement to adapt? Yes, it is often the result of a lack of exhaustion or vital force, but often the purification of mind and body from the toxins that have accumulated. It is necessary that a man suffers from time to time. The source of most disease is in the spirit. Therefore, the spirit can cure most diseases. As a student, I got sick of cholera, which raged in the region of Lika. I was cured because my father finally allowed me to study technology, which was my life. Illusion for me was not a disease, but the mind's ability to penetrate beyond the three dimensions of the earth. I had them all my life, and I have received them, as all other phenomena around us. Once, in childhood, I was walking along the river with uncle, and 